this is interesting. Sports radio host apologizes for criticizing baseball players' paternity leave. Daniel Murphy's the uh, second baseman with the New York Mets. And he decided to take some time off because uh, his wife had a kid. Or he and his wife had a kid. And he and his union had negotiated a contract which gave him paternity leave. And isn't that great? And then, you know, Boomer Iason. Essiason? Essiason. Thank you, Jim. Jim knows sports. I don't know sports. Uh, criticized this and then apologized on uh, Friday. Anyhow. Uh, so, you know, what, what about this uh, paternity leave, or maternity leave for that matter? In the entire world, here are the countries that offer no paid maternity or paternity leave. This is it. This is the whole list. Out of the 199 countries or whatever it is in the world, 188, excuse me. Uh, here are the countries that have no paid leave. Swaziland, Lesotho, Papua New Guinea, Liberia, and the United States. Really? Carrie Lucas is on the line with us. She's the Managing Director for the Independent Women's Forum, co-author of Liberty is No War on Women, IWF.org, of course, the website for the Independent Women's Forum. Hey, Carrie, how are you? It's been a while since we've talked. Hey. Um, yeah, it has been a while, Tom. Good to, good to be back on the show. Thanks for having me today. Sure. Are you? By the way, are you still living in, in Europe? I, I sure am. I'm now in Berlin. In Berlin. How, how is the socialism there? <laughs> well, we got, we've had a beautiful winter, um, lots of nice warm weather. So um, I like it. So far, so good. I've yeah. been here since September. Good. I, 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 uh, in fact, I'm going to be in Germany in a couple of weeks. I, I, love, I, I lived there for a year, as you know, and I, I, I really enjoyed it. So yeah. they have, uh, by the way, paid uh, maternity leave. I, I'm not sure about paternity leave in Germany. Um, yeah. So why would IWF or, or Carrie Lucas, I don't know if you're speaking for yourself or for the organization, uh, be opposed to a, to a government mandating that all companies over a certain size, you know, where it's reasonable, I think, I don't know what the number would be, but I think that collectively we could get together and figure it out, out uh, offering paid leave. Well, because I think that this is um, a conversation that needs to ha take place between um, workers and employers. Um, and I think that one thing it's important to, you know, you just said, and everyone goes, oh, my goodness, you know, there's no paternity, there's no maternity leave in the United States. Paid. Well, actually, Paid. there is maternity leave. Most women do get maternity leave. You, yes, go on. No, I was, I was uh, okay, yeah, you, uh, I see where you're going. You're saying that uh, in most workplaces, most large Large employers offer offer maternity leave, paid maternity most leave. Small, uh, most small paid um, 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 employers. There was a, an interesting, I recently found it, a Census Bureau report on this that looked at what, what actually, what do women do after um, having their first child and what is it, what kind of leave options do they, do they have? Mm -hmm. And 56% um, of full-time working mothers reported using paid leave. 42% um, also used unpaid leave. Some had access to disability leave. Some quit their jobs. Um, you know, it's not, it's certainly not totally comprehensive and it's very different than what would they have in, in Europe and the kind of one size fits all arrangements that they have. But it's really, you know, we should, um, we shouldn't assume that this means that all women are just thrown out in the street or have no support after having, having a baby. Most employers know that it's a good business to offer people benefits, which is why, why they do. Um, but it's important to also note that there's a big trade off between, um, benefits and compensation and it costs money to give benefits and not everybody wants benefits. A lot of people would rather have more money in their pocket. Well, you could say that. I mean, we've, what we've seen is the, the top 1% now own, what, 30% of, of everything? Um, you know, in the, last, in the last 12 years, more than 100% of all new income has gone to the top 1%. Um, it's not that, you know, if we, can, if, we, if we can have savings by not offering people paid maternity leave, that, that, people are, that the workers are going to get more money. It's that the... It's that the CEOs who made they had a thirteen percent increase in pay last year, while the average worker actually saw a decline, a decrease in their paycheck. Um, we're now well, up to ten point three million dollars a year is average for CEOs in the United States. Well, it's but it, but this is there's more than a cost to um, in just um, money. Although money is important to some people, and some people um, you know don't would prefer to have um, have different options or to provide for themselves in different ways. And of course, there's a lot of women out there who don't want to have kids, so maternity. Um, coverage isn't isn't much use to them, and they'd rather have more money in their pocket. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, but there's also a cost in um, in the kinds of job opportunities that women have. 
here in Europe, yes, they have lengthy, wonderful um, maternity leave policies, and women often take a year off after, um, after having a baby. Um, but they aren't in positions of power. Um, American women are doing much, much better in terms of, of um, having um, good jobs and having being in managerial positions. You have 14% of American women workers are managers compared to 15% of American men, while in Europe, um, just less than 6% of European female workers are managers. Well, wait wait a second. When, be, you be, got to be really careful when you quote European statistics. I, I heard a guy from... Uh, from the uh, Competitive Enterprise Institute, trying to pull this off on NPR this morning, and um, if you take if if by Europe you're including Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, uh, you know the uh, Turkey, uh, you're in, you're including the quote new countries, you know the former Eastern Bloc countries that now are part of the technically or literally part of the European Union, then yeah, the numbers aren't all that great. If on the other hand you're talking about Western and Northern Europe. Um, yeah, those is, numbers are very different. I mean, look at the percentage of, of, of women who are legislators, for example, in, in, in the Northern European countries. I mean, you're, you're pushing 40, 50 percent in some places. Yeah, but almost all women there work for the government. They're not, they're not entrepreneurs. They're not, they're not out there getting the, um, um, going for, for top flight jobs. And, and Tom, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, I talk to, I have a lot of friends here who work who, uh, here in, in Europe. I've now lived in three European countries. And you rarely do see a woman who has a very serious um, career, in part because you know, I'm around kids, um, women who have a lot of babies. Um, I've got a bunch of kids myself, um, and they don't they don't have to work. They they stay home. They don't you know when they go back, they go back part time, which you know which may be great. And if that's what the left wants, but you should realize that if, if you're a feminist and you want women to be out there leaning in, then giving them twelve months twelve months off a year um, every time they have a baby. Isn't that's really not the way to advance women's women's careers, especially when you have the expectation. I, I know I've got a, a good friend who's a who's a businesswoman, and she says that one of the worst things she has is that there's always this expectation. Oh, you could have a kid at any time. You, you know, we're not going to give you real responsibility because why would you? We you might be gone for twelve months starting starting six months from now. Mm. Uh, that's a big. That's really weighs on employer on employers' minds. People I mean it's it's only rational. You can make it illegal, but everybody's going to have that in in their head. So it sounds to me like what you're saying, and tell me if I'm misunderstanding this. It sounds to me like what you're saying is that the policy of providing paid maternity leave and generous paid maternity leave, like you know, twelve months, um, you know, not six weeks, but you know, really serious maternity leave, that that policy leads to more of the kind of 1950s families, you know, the more, quote, traditional families, that I thought conservatives and groups like the Independent Women's Forum liked. I mean, wouldn't no, you want that for the United States? The kind of, no, no, Fred, Tom, I want women to do what they want to do. I want women to be able to go Well, they don't have to take the leave if they don't want to. So, yeah, but if somebody gives it to you for free and it's the, it's the, you've already paid, you're essentially made almost not, no money. It's not free, already, everybody's paying. Women are already, but it's not even, but remember, Tom, it's not only women who are actually going to take leave, it's also any woman who's walking around and they, they know you're a risk. So it is a big, it's a, a it really is, it, it feeds into that stereotype that women are all going to opt out of the workforce. In the United States, women have a choice to make. They can decide to lean fully in and go and be a CEO, and it's often hard. They've got to make a lot of sacrifices. You think of Melissa um, Mercer May, um, Mayor, the, see, the woman running um, at Yahoo, had barely any maternity leave. You know, I, thought, I think that's a really extreme decision, but my goodness, that's her decision. She only wants to, she wants to start working from home after two weeks and, and then really try to take over her job. Well, you know, that's, that's, her, that's her right. Um, but she, just, she could make that decision work. in Germany, too. Yeah, but they don't. I mean, they don't. So okay. All right. Carrie, thanks. Uh, yeah, IWF.org, Carrie Lucas, thank you for being with us today, Carrie. Good talking.